Well, hello everybody. It's that time again. It's time for that blog that truly blazes here on this wonderful day, this beautiful day of October the 21st of 2011. I'm going to go over the energies of the recent past, what we're coming into right now, and more or less what we can expect toward the end of this week. So stick around. It'll be a fun ride. Okay, the first card is the last card of the previous week's reading. Now, this card is a Six of Cups. A beautiful card, a balanced energy, cups flowing with water. Water is our emotions, our spirit, our sense of life's course. Entitled Pleasure, the card is attributed to Sun in Scorpio. Now, the Sun, of course, warms, illumines, enlightens. Scorpio is our depths, our inner depths, exploring the deep, deep mysteries that lie within us, but the sun is illuminating those mysteries. It's warming up our insides. It's letting us flow, okay? So we may have found ourselves being feeling more pure, more clean, dealing with some stuff, some direct, whatever you want to call it, stuff inside of us, cleansing it out, finding that emotional balance, and you know what? That sets us up for some great stuff this week. Okay, the card we're coming into is the Six of Swords, another six. Sixes in the Kabbalah are attributed to the sun. They're attributed to a state of balance and harmony. This particular card, entitled Science, is attributed to Mercury in Aquarius. Now, of course, Mercury is the mind. It's our clarity, our focus. And Aquarius, fixed air, also ties in with the mind. So mentally, we're going to be balanced, very positive, very focused on things that we want to achieve. And that's going to lead us to manifest some great physical results. This is traditionally pictured in the Rider Waite deck as a woman with child crossing a lake in a boat with six swords. The whole idea is that she's going to something better. She's going to another place, a more positive area of her life. And so will we be. We'll be making a journey towards more positive things, things that we really want to have and are going to be bringing into focus. Okay, our third and final card is going to be the Four of Discs or Pentacles attributed to Sun in Scorpio, or not Scorpio, I'm sorry, Capricorn, okay? Sun in Capricorn, and Capricorn is financial abundance. It's, again, focus. It's focused on very practical things, building up a power base. The card is entitled Power, and it's building up our personal power base, our standing in the world, our feeling of being secure. So this could really end up being a good week, maybe financially, you know, bringing in more money, or if you're trying to manifest a project, bringing that project into manifestation. You know, if you're in business, this could be a good business week. Okay, those energies are very, very positive and very, very, very strong. So as we focus our minds, okay, as we have balanced our emotions, six of cups, focused our minds, six of swords, we bring into fruition our foundation, those things that we really need to have, four of discs. Very positive, very cool, something to really look forward to. And speaking of things to look forward to, I look forward to speaking to you next week. I had a good time this week. I hope you did. I love you. I appreciate you. And from my home away from home here at Modern Zen, I do wish you many, many, many blessings. <laughs>